The world champion Philadelphia Eagles picked a perch somewhere below the Cleveland Browns in 1961, opened the fence of their crown before a sellout crowd in Franklin Field. Those self-same Cleveland Browns provide the opposition, so the outcome is vital to both teams. Here's the opening kickoff with Lou Groza belting the ball five yards deep into the Eagle end zone. Timmy Brown takes it, and 60,000 spectators come to their feet as Tim weaves through the first wave of Browns, skips away from a tackler at the 30, gets a diving block from Dick Lucas at the 50, and sprints all the way for a 105-yard touchdown. It's a new Eagle record, and the Birds take a 7-0 lead. Jim Brown sparks the Cleveland comeback as the Browns drive from the kickoff. Jim streaks through the Eagles for 26 yards. <laughs> Lou Groza gets three points for the Browns with his 20-yard field goal, taking up where he left off after a year of retirement. <laughs> the Eagles match Groza's effort, and it's 10-3 as Cleveland's Milt Plum passes on third and three. Mikey Chelly Ferguson has outrun Jimmy Carr and Don Burrows, and the six foot five inch rookie scores on a 60 yard beauty as the Browns tie it up. There's no let up in the second quarter. The Eagles threaten with Clarence Peaks working the draw play for 12 yards and a first down on the Cleveland 20. Watch Sonny Jurgensen on this play. He waits for the pattern to unfold, then calmly pegs the ball to Bobby Walston. Touchdown, Eagles. The birds break the tie to make it 17-10 at the half. The third quarter field goal puts the Browns three points closer, but Sonny Jurgensen has the Eagle attack working again. Tommy McDonald slants across the middle to take his pass for a 20-yard gain. Jurgensen has the finest core of receivers in the league, and he knows how to hit them. Pete Retzlaff pulls one in and fights for extra yardage. It's goal to go from the six. Jurgensen lobs to McDonald, who's breaking for the corner. Tommy has it, and the Eagles lead swells to 24-13 after three periods of play. A fourth quarter boot by Walston makes the total reach 27 for the Eagles, but the Browns refuse to concede. Plum connects with Gern Negler for 22 yards. Brown blocker spets out the bird defenders and Plum flips the ball over their heads to Bobby Mitchell. Bobby bows over the goal line. Now it's 27 to 20. The Eagles attempt to counter quickly. Billy Barnes picks his way through the line, turns on the speed, and hurdles a Brown defender on his way to a sensational 43-yard gain. Barnes's run sets up a field goal attempt, but Walston is wide of the mark, and the Browns have time to tie it up. Milt Plum sets out to do just that. He fades deep and flips a screen pass to Jim Brown. The Cleveland Ace races to a 20-yard gain. On third and ten, the Browns go for broke with Milt Plum aiming for Jim Brown. Tom Brookshire makes a clutch interception to end the Cleveland threat, and the game belongs to the Eagles. With their 27-20 conquest of the slightly favored Browns, the National League champions get their title offense off to a rousing start. The Eagles must now be considered the top contenders for Eastern honors. <laughs>